So in case uh, someone could use this information, I just decided to make this video. If someone wanted to go this route to set up the turbo drain line on a K20 K or K24, uh, I'm using a PRL manifold. It's a GT3584 PSR turbo. And um, most people put the drain line for the turbocharger in the oil pan just above uh, just just about right here so where they put the, the drain line uh, that kind of creates an issue sometimes because uh, a lot of times the the turbo drain line actually has oil in it and uh, that kind um, restricts the outflow from the turbo and you might get smoking so what I did was to drill out this boss, this unused boss. So this was just like uh, one of these or that or that. And uh, I inspected it and saw that it kind of led to this bore. And this bore is a drain line from, um, from the head. So this bore I also enlarged, it was quite a bit smaller and just to um, you know, increase the flow and not have any flow out issues I enlarged it a little bit just using a, a step bit and um, oops sorry my fingers in the way and then back to the boss I used a step bit again and started a hole there dedicated um, ORF fitting um, cutters but they all had um, a much bigger chuck size than I, than my drill so I did a couple of things I got the an ORB fitting this guy and you can see that uh, I drilled this out as well without affecting the, the chamfer which seals the connection but um, just for again better flow and it's a uh, ORB which is uh, a dash 8 ORB which ends up being a 3 quarter dash 16 um, third size here so I drilled this out made the chamfer for the o-ring again with the step bit and then um, Uh, hard to do this with with uh, one hand hole in the camera Hold on, let me flip this around and use my right hand yeah so finally got it in there uh, the o-ring seals up against the face of the boss um, this is solid I, I literally even though the wall of the boss looks kind of thin on one side, it's because the hole that was originally in there was not fully centered. It was kind of like this one where you can see that it's thinner on this side versus that side. Um, so I'll just pop this back out so you can see the wall thickness that remains. Um, it, it looks super thin on this side and fairly decent on this side um but it is quite solid like i literally held it um i screwed this drain fitting onto here and literally used this to turn the whole engine assembly on the engine stand so this was uh blocked off pretty much like this and uh i just drilled right through into the passage behind with uh, a half inch drill bit and um, yeah, it's a solution which raises the drain line um, about an inch to inch and a half higher than it would have been in the in the oil pan. So yeah, if you if you uh, want to get that sorted out, you can probably try this method.